Hello YouTubers, got a Commodore 64, proper one, not an emulator, it's to a PC, serial cable on the C64, so you see there, connects to a small box, this then connects to the cable, then into the PC via a USB serial converter. On the PC, I downloaded and used C64 to PC. I bought a CD from HMV and it had loads of games on it, so I'm going to show you how to use the games on the real C64. First of all, when you run the program, you set out for what COM port you've got. So mine's on COM1, and then you tell it where you want to find your games. So my games are in Games 2. Okay, so the one I'm going to play now is Kickstart. So I'll select the Kickstart. On the virtual driver side, I'm going to push the disk. So it mounts it and it says this name kickstart2. Now push this one here, which is open the disc, and you'll see that the lights on here change. This not mounted, disc mounted, disc not mounted, disc mounted. Okay, so now the disc is mounted. Okay, now on the C64 I do the usual load. It's just a joystick cable, load star, comma, eight, comma. One. If it was in drive 9, it'd be probably 8, comma 2, and whatever. It might be 9, comma 2, I don't know, I've not test tested that yet. Press enter. And it's saying. Search in for star 2, comma 1. It says loading. Now, on the bottom of the laptop screen here, you will see a loading bar. When it gets all the way to the top, your game is now loaded on a real C64. It's a bit of a it's a bit confusing when you first saw it all out, but when you get used to it after about ten minutes, it's very quick and easy to get the games across. So I'm just gonna let this one load up. In here on the program you've got a um, a window, like a preview window of what this structure would look like. You top me up is your address bar of where your games are located or you can use like the picture there or places there here's all your disc games and I've got games to A to Z if I go C64 games I've got games 1 and so I did A there's aliens, there's the aliens, whatever. So now that it's done, the line's gone to the end, it sees that the is reporting that it's ready, so just type run. Okay, and then it runs just like a real C64. If you use the joystick, so I'll plug in the joystick. Said random courses, push the far button. I don't know if this to be in the port. This game's impossible. Okay, you can whack restore. So then you can do random courses and use the Edison stuff.
top of your name. And you can start your game. Okay, once you've played the game, what you want to just turn it off, come on, and then do the same again. Thank you for watching.